Okay, people, where are my peanut butter lovers? I know you're out there and I can see you. So today we're making something super special just for you. Hi, I'm Carolyn from All Day I Dream About Food and today we're making easy keto peanut butter bars. These bars are the perfect dessert for diehard peanut butter lovers. They're super easy to make, they don't require any baking, and my kids swear they taste just like Reese's peanut butter cups. So the first thing we're gonna do is take our baking pan, a square baking pan, you can use nine by nine or eight by eight. This one happens to be nine by nine. And we're going to line that with either wax paper or parchment paper so our bars don't stick. So here I have three quarters cup of butter and I'm going to add three quarters cup of peanut butter. And this one is all natural, no added sugars. And I'm gonna show you a little trick for measuring out peanut butter. I have my three quarter cup measure here and I'm going to spray it with a little avocado oil. It doesn't really matter what you spray it with and just wipe that around a little. And this way the peanut butter will come much more easily out of my measuring cup. So I'm just gonna scoop my peanut butter into my measuring cup and pack it down as much as I can so I get the full three quarters cup. Now we need to melt these together. I like to just do it in my microwave, but if you don't have a microwave, you can always just do it in a pan on the stove top. Okay, so now my peanut butter and butter are nicely melted together, and I'm just going to whisk them up, and then I'm going to add my sweetener. Because this is a no-bake recipe, I recommend powdered sweetener, and I have half a cup of powdered swerve here. And we whisk that in until it's smooth, and then we're gonna add a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And because my peanut butter was unsalted, I like to add just a little salt. And now for the magic ingredient, I am using peanut flour. This one is from Anthony's. It's roasted and it's partially defatted, so it's very powdery and fine. A lot of people ask me if you can make this recipe with other flours, like almond flour. And you can, but almond flour has a lot more moisture in it. And so you're gonna end up adding a whole lot more than the than the peanut flour, which can raise the carb count. But for today, we're using the peanut flour and I have two cups of it here. And I'm using a rubber spatula to stir it because you're going to find that it thickens a lot and you really need to work that peanut flour into the mixture. So after you've worked in the peanut flour, you're gonna find that it kinda starts to come together and hold together and it's gonna be like one big ball of dough. If it doesn't do that, you wanna add a little more peanut flour at a time until it looks like this. Then we're gonna take our baking pan that we lined with wax paper, and we're just gonna transfer this big ball of dough into that. And we're gonna use our hands at first to start pressing it out into the pan. And once it's looking pretty even, it's still gonna have your finger imprints on it. So if you really wanna smooth it out, you take another piece of wax paper or parchment paper, put it on top, and then take a flat bottomed glass or measuring cup, and you can just use that to make it all nice and even. And then once they're all smoothed out to your satisfaction, you're gonna stick them in the fridge to cool while you prepare the chocolate topping. So I'm gonna add first two tablespoons of butter, and then I've got three ounces of Lily's dark chocolate here. You could use the chips if you prefer. And I always just take the, the squares and break them up. And then you just wanna stir them until they're nice and melted and smooth. And once your topping is nice and smooth and melted, grab those bars out of the fridge and pour the chocolate over top and spread it to the edges. I like this little offset spatula and make sure you're covering all of your yummy bars with some of the chocolate. And I always like to take bars like this and kind of shake them after I've poured the chocolate on so that it evens out the topping. Now these need to go back in the fridge until the chocolate's completely set, which takes about an hour. And while you're waiting for those to cool, you can always enjoy the chocolate that's left over on your spatula. Okay, peanut butter lovers, an hour is up and we are ready to cut into our bars. The nice part about lining your pan with, with wax paper is that you can just easily lift the whole thing out 
and it makes it much easier for cutting. And I like to take my bench knife, but you can use any sharp knife and cut in. Oh, look at that. Nice and soft and perfect. And there we go, my friends. Easy keto, no bake peanut butter bars. These are gonna be a hit with your whole family. For this easy keto recipe and so many more, please check out alldayidreamaboutfood.com. <laughs>